Hey guys, thought I'd make a video of this really nice little CCLI hack that we came up with. Shout out to Dan Owen, me and him worked together on this. He came up, I came up with the idea, he made it work, I'm the one just making the video of his brilliance. So, here's a really nice little hack for CCLI. Currently at my church, we have our CCLI info, you can't really see it there, but it says copyright slide, and it shows for five seconds at the bottom, then it transitions to an identical video, uh, sorry, to an identical slide here, so we don't have to see CCLI again as we click around. All is well. However, if the band starts right on the chorus, it doesn't work great. So instead, we came up with a solution. First off, you create a timer, a five second CCLI timer, and we're gonna make it so that whenever this timer is live, then the CCLI info will show on screen. To do that, uh, actually, I made this uh, five seconds. If you want, you can make it more or less I like five seconds. So first off, go into preferences and enable copyright slide on all slides. Now we're going to head into the CCLI editor and for this part right here, we actually need to add it so that it can be run from a timer. So to do that, head into edit, create a new text box and connect this text box with visibility options for a timer. This is where we use that CCLI timer with this text box, boom. Wait, now, as long as that timer is running, this random text box will be showing. So let's take that text box, cut it, move it into the CCLI editor, and let's link the text so that it's now showing CCLI. Bam, we have something for the CCLI stuff. Now delete that, voila, you have something that is work, that will work with the visibility settings. I'm going to do what I did, there we go. Now the secret sauce that makes this thing actually work is BitFocus Companion. So we, we're going to create a new variable and then every time that the variable changes, for, we'll create a variable for presentation and then every time the presentation itself changes, then it'll re-trigger that countdown, that timer. So if I'm clicking around in this Holy Spirit presentation all I want, it's not showing. As soon as I click into anything on the different presentation, then it's showing for five seconds there as it counts down. And to do this, click on any random button, and instead of editing the button, you're gonna create a new variable. Just create a custom variable, call it whatever you want. I called mine custom CCLI countdown. All you need to do is just create the variable. That's it, don't put anything in it. Now, head into triggers. So, <coughs> I made a new trigger here, called it CCLI timer trigger. You're gonna have a type of feedback and what it will pop up with automatically won't work. So instead, delete what you see and you're going to add a compare variable to variable. Now, what you're gonna compare it to is presentation path. That just says which presentation is presentation path does not equal this CCLI custom variable we just created. So anytime the presentation path doesn't equal the CCLI location, uh, CCLI presentation path, then it will trigger all of this. And what this does, first off, it updates the new variable, uh, the variable with the new presentation. Then it resets that CCLI timer, and then it starts it add a couple hundred milliseconds between them. That way it has a time to do the reset and then to fire it. If they're right on top of each other, it just won't trigger and you can save. But I'm gonna test this first. That way every time the presentation changes, bam, it shows that for five seconds. If you change really fast, you can trigger this multiple times and it'll work just great. So there you have it, a really nice new way to do CCLI.